Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father calling us to life. Son of God, who leads us to freedom, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Word who calls us out of darkness. You are the Word who leads us into light. You are the Word who brings us through the desert. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, Word of the Father calling us to life, Son of God who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, Go buy yourself a linen loincloth. Wear it on your loins, but do not put it in water. I bought the loincloth as the Lord commanded and put it on. A second time the word of the Lord came to me thus, Take the loincloth which you have bought and are wearing, and go now to Perith, there hide it in a cleft of the rock. Obedient to the Lord's command, I went to Perith and buried the loincloth. After a long interval, the Lord said to me, Go now to the Perith and fetch the loincloth, which I told you to hide there. Again, I went to the Perith, sought out, and took the loincloth from the place where I hid it. But it was rotten, good for nothing. Then the message came to me from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, so also will I allow the pride of Judah to rot, the great pride of Jerusalem. The wicked people who refuse to obey my words, who walk in the stubbornness of their hearts and follow strange gods to serve and adore them, shall be like this loincloth, which is good for nothing. For as close as the loincloth clings to the man's loins, so had I made the whole house of Israel, and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says the Lord, and be my people, my renown, my praise, my beauty. But they would not listen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have forgotten God, who gave you have forgotten God who gave you birth. You have forgotten God who have given, gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger towards his sons and daughters. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. I will hide my face from them, he said, and see what will become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth since they provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people. What a foolish nation, I will anger them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. 
Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Praise his name, praise his name. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when it is full grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what he had said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what was laid hidden from the foundation of the world. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love these parables, especially the one of the woman mixing the yeast with the dough. You know, it takes just a little bit of yeast in order to cause the entire batch to rise. And is so mindful of what we as the disciples of Jesus are called to do in this world. We are called to be that yeast, that little sprinkling within the batch of society that causes the entire society to raise to be good people, to be authentic followers and disciples of Jesus. It is an interesting reading today from Jeremiah the prophet. And the Lord says that how much he loved the house of Israel, the house of Je Judah, because they were to be his people, his renown, his praise, his beauty. And then, Ever poignantly, he said, but they did not listen. How true in our world today that many people who call themselves Christians don't listen to the words of Jesus. They don't follow his commands. Oh, you know that forgiveness stuff, that's for the other person, not for me, because I'm right, I'm justified. And yet the Lord constantly reminds us that none of us are perfect. All of us are in need of forgiveness. All of us are in need of repentance. All of us are in need of looking at our lives and seeing how they really are. Unlike that loincloth that became rotten and was good for nothing, may we be like that yeast that goes into the dough and rises so that all may give honor and glory to God. Let us place our needs this morning before the Lord. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may preach the Holy Gospel with courage, with strength, with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our world leaders, that they will lead us during a time of crisis, that they will care for the poor and the marginalized of society, that they will work together for peace and for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray today for our own nation, that we may be a people who care for all human life from the moment of protection, from the moment of conception, until natural death, and that we must uphold the dignity of each and every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves, that through the working of the Holy Spirit, 
We may become God's beauty. We may become God's joy. We may become God's inheritance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for all scientists and researchers. May they have success in the work of their hands. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for the sick and the suffering, for the lonely, for the oppressed, for the fearful, the anxious, for those who feel unloved or unwanted. May they all know the healing touch of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have died, that they may be welcomed into the glory of heaven. And let us pray for those who mourn for them, that they may know of the resurrection of Christ and the hope of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all your needs, all your intentions, that we bring to the altar today in the very silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, God of mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus as he lives and he reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful workings of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For through the human race, for though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty God, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when he was about to give up his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way. On that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other that wave of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. There is this beautiful prayer that the priest says before he elevates the precious body and blood of Jesus, and it's said to be said quietly, but I think it's such a beautiful prayer that I like to share it with you today. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, you most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments 
and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his benefits. And let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. It's very similar to the prayer that the priests pray right before we elevate that precious body and blood of Jesus. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with a love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, Word of the Father calling us to life, Son of God who leads us to freedom, Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the one whom prophets hoped and longed for. You are the one who speaks to us today. You are the one who leads us to our future. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, Word of the Father calling us to life, Son of God who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ.